you're watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. I'm going to be taking a look at a Boker today. This one made in Germany. Let's look at your box. That's the model number. You've got 110-739-SOI. And just a cancer warning. Magnetic clothes with the, some paperwork. Little cutout there for the foam and desiccant. Magnetic clothes. Here's a look at the knife. We've got a large stockman here in the Red Shield series. It measures four inches closed. Got nickel silver bolsters on either end here. With the nickel silver shield and pins. With this black jig bone handle. Good look at the jigging there. And the shield it says Germany with the tree. And then, of course, it's red because it's in the Red Shield series. Let's look at the back. Uh, you've got little decoration on the bolsters, and they're squared. But they're smooth transitions to the handles. I don't feel the pins at all. All the construction seems to be really well done. That shield's really well inlaid. I've seen some really horrendous positioning on some of these boker knives where it's really deep set. Not on this one. It's flush. There's a look at your brass liners and stainless springs. I'm not really seeing any major gaps. There might be like a minor one here. I mean, it's pretty minor. Pretty well constructed knife. We're looking at $26.40 on Chicago Knife Works for this guy. And I believe they're all sold out. But <clears throat> what we have is mystery location built in Germany, but we don't know where. It's not Solingen because the, the main blade does not say Solingen on it on the tang like Solingen made bokers are. So we're left to guess where that is made. But it does say manufactured in Germany, so I have to assume it is Germany. Now here is the blade etch that says tree brand. You've got this clip point blade, mirror finish, just your regular nail nick there. Something of a thinner um, clip point. And the lack of a half stop, so you're just your traditional style open and close with a good snap. I say about a six on the pull. There you can hear the talk. I'll give you a chance to listen to that without me jabbering over the top of it. There you go. Let's take a look at your spine. It's been rounded over really well. The blade edge. Blade edge is pretty even, I'd say. Did a good job there. Seems very sharp. I haven't tried to cut anything with this thing yet, but I would say that it's pretty sharp just from the feel. I do like the way it opens and closes. That six is really nice. That appeals to me. Now you've got your standard Stockman blades here. And here's where it says high carbon stainless. Right on here on this tang. On the uh, sheep's foot. But on the other side it's plain. There's nothing there. But again, just your standard nail nick there. Take a look at the... The grind on it. Looks like they pretty did pretty good job on that one too. This one has a nice pull as well, right around six. Nice snap on that one. And then we'll take a look at the spade blade. And I'd say that one's the toughest to get out. I give that one an easy seven and a half. There's your tang stamp on that one as well.
This repeats what the other blade said, high carbon stainless steel. But a good looking spade blade nonetheless. Now let's get some measurements for you. These are uh, 1 and 7 eighths inch full length on the spade blade and then about just over one and a half inches on the cutting edge. I'd say, like I said, that's about a seven and a half on the pull on that one. Pretty firm. Good lock up. And your sheep's foot. That measures just over two inches. Call it two and an eighth. And then the cutting edge is one and three quarter inches. Main blade. You're looking at right at three inches cutting edge. So it looks like this one just passes muster for UK legal. And then you've got a, about a two and a half inch cutting edge. So all in all, red shield series knife from Boker. Now these are sold out right now in Chicago Knife Works. They were twenty six dollars and forty cents. But there are other stockmen in this same line of red shield series, just with different handle material. I think are still available. This is the jig bone. I think there's one that's black smooth bone that you can get as well. Here's a look at the blade alignment. You can see it tucks in there pretty good. They did a good job of that. Well spaced. As well as you can do for a stockman. But it's an attractive knife. A little plain, you know. But the red shield sort of sets it off a little different. Um, I just wish they, you know, disclose what... Uh, where it was made and what what blade or you know what <clears throat> blade material they're using i don't know what the big mystery is but there you have it probably 440a stainless that would be my guess and uh nice piece i don't really have any complaints i just wish they'd be more forthcoming and uh, that's about it for this one guys boker red shield series large stockman black jig bone handles 440A stainless steel blades, I guess. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you're aware of new videos when they drop. And please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be bringing you more and more traditional knives. Please do leave comments too because I really enjoy um, hearing what you guys have to say. So, Thanks guys. Have a nice day.